ease has been provided. What we'll try to do next is a comparable company has been done. If you just have a look at your screen, you'll have a you will see that what we tried, we tried to divide companies based on whether they're generic, whether they're NCE, medtech company, and there are a couple of more in next page. We have calculated their current price, the 52 weeks high and low, their market value in dollar million, aggregate value, at what multiple they are trading at, aggregate value by sales ratio, aggregate value by EBITDA ratio, long term growth rate, peg and share price performance. So these are the parameter on which we have divided these companies. In CE and Medtech. Next category is cramps, hospitals and MNC in India. And then we have calculated the me and median for all these values. So I can say that on an average a generic company in India normally tend to trade at 15.8 times of its current earning. This ratio is is uh, you know calculated in the year of recession, which has surely improved. So normally now any generic company normally trades at 20 times of its earning. That's the normal multiple at which it trades at. 10 minutes for any queries. Otherwise, we'll start with the next section, the Excel file. EUH Care Services Comps. That's the file we start with. Try to build a comp today. How to build a comp? Try to learn that. And then tomorrow, the section will be entirely on financial modeling. So I'm giving you five to ten minutes. Please have a look and let me know in case of any query. Students, please go through. Once you are really comfortable, then we'll move on to build up comparables for these companies. We'll try to build up comparables for these companies. That is, we'll try to learn how this sheet has been prepared. Called EUH Care Services Comps. See, this sheet has been created. You can you are working with some database like Faxit. But nevertheless, we'll try to create this sheet all by ourselves. Okay, without using the database. So we'll come to a sheet. The sheet will come to uh, here. There's something called Euro million. We'll replace this by dollar million. Try to calculate figures in dollar. Uh, the date would be today's date, which is 15 October 2011. Here we would write generic companies. So that's the thing which we'll try to write here. We'll delete this portion. Dr. Reddy's, Glenmark, Dishman, Cadilla Healthcare, Pfizer, India. Might be we skip Pfizer India because that's like Pfizer is more of an MNC company. We'll take Renmaxi, we'll try to take Cipla, and we'll try to take Orchid Chemical. So those are the companies we'll try to take. So uh a year that has been provided here is seven eight nine seven eight nine seven eight nine and so on. We'll change this year, we'll try to bring this current year. That is we'll make this two zero two zero one zero dash one one two Zero one one dash one two two zero one two dash one three and we'll copy paste this portion out here here growth rate from from nine till eleven net debt for year two thousand and eleven. Okay, so it's net debt by 2011 EBITDA. We'll skip this portion, this portion from AI till AN. Okay, so this portion will simply hide. We won't calculate this portion. From AI till AU. We'll simply hide. We are not calculating this portion. We'll try to bring a comparable sheet. 
So see, students, how we've calculated. We we have decided on based on the generic companies. So I've included not a single MNC company like Novartis or GlaxoSmithKline or Pfizer because they they are more of an MNC company having an office in India. All these are pure Indian companies. So what I'll try to do, I'll try to calculate for two companies and I'll I'll tr I'll re leave the rest for you. But yes, we'll require a few more columns out here. So those columns would be market cap, net debt, enterprise value or aggregate value. Enterprise value or aggregate value are one and the same thing. Enterprise value enterprise value or aggregate value and then revenue revenue for three year so I'll merge this merge in center no sick merge in center merge in center merge in center revenue EBITDA and net profit so these are the column which has been done out here I'll remove this entire portion because that is the thing which we are trying to calculate. Okay, I'll open up a website called Yahoo Finance in finance.yahoo.com. I'll open up that website.